In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi in your Wi-Fi network using the Angry IP Scanner tool. So this tool is one tool among many, but it's a good tool because it is a tool that is working on both Windows, macOS, and Linux operating systems. So first you will need to download Angry IP. So you can go to angryip.org, okay, in the download section. And uh, for example, here I'm on Windows. So you can click here on the latest version and then save the file and execute the .exe to install Angry IP. To make Angry IP Scanner work on your computer, you will also need to have Java installed. So if you don't have it already, then you click on that link, okay, and it will go to this page and you can go here and just download and install the latest release here with this button. So once you have installed Java and Angry IP Scanner, you can start Angry IP Scanner and you will have this interface. And now how to find the Raspberry Pi IP address. So first of all, and this is super important, make sure that your computer and the Raspberry Pi are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If they are not on the same network, this will absolutely not work. And now before you press the start button, we need to do just a little bit of configuration. So you can click on this IP button near the host name. Okay, this is the host name. So this is the name of your computer. You can click on IP here and you will have different IP addresses. What you want to do is find the one that corresponds to the Wi-Fi. So for me, it looks like this. For you, it may look differently. Okay, but this is the one that corresponds to the Wi-Fi. So this is the IP address of this computer inside the Wi-Fi network. So this should start by 192 and then 100. 68, this should be the, the same for you, and then you will have different numbers. Now, as you can see, we have four numbers separated by dots. What you can do here, so we need to select an IP range. We are going to select the IP range from one, so you change the last number here, and the last number here, 255. So we are going to scan 255 IP address in this network. Now also you can click on this button next to the start, okay? And make sure that you have the Mac vendor on the left. By default, it will be like this. So you can click here on Mac vendor, click on the left button, which is add, and then click on okay. And you should see Mac vendor here. And now you can click on start and you will wait a few seconds. Okay, and the scanning is completed. So it has been complete for me in 19 seconds. You can see 254 hosts has been scanned and we found three alive hosts. So you click on close and now you can simply sort here, you click on ping, sort by ping. Okay, so you will only have the ones which correspond to uh, something. So in red, it means that this IP address as nothing, in blue we found something. And you can see we have our Raspberry Pi right here. So for my setup and in my network, my Raspberry Pi board has the IP address 192.168.43.56. And you can see here we need the Mac vendor, okay, to get the Raspberry Pi trading because usually we should get Raspberry Pi as the host name but for some reason, it may not work with Angry IP Scanner, so you need the Mac vendor to be sure that this is the Raspberry Pi. So in the network, we have our laptop, okay? We have this, this is the router, basically, and the Raspberry Pi. So the laptop and the Raspberry Pi are in the same network, which means that we can find this IP address. And now that you have the Raspberry Pi IP address, you can directly connect to it with SSH, for example. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials in the future. 
Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by directly practicing and going to the point. The links are in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial or in my online courses.